three tips to smooth sales closing of a wholesale property. So let's dive into it. There's a question that came in that inspired this uh, particular post. And uh... hey, my friend, this is Ola coming to you live from my Empire Pro Studios. I'm the author of Smart Real Estate Wholesaling and the creator of MyEmpirePro.com. On this episode, we're talking about three tips to smooth sales closing of a wholesale property. So let's dive into it. There's a question that came in that inspired this uh, particular post. And the uh, question says, hey, I need some feedback. I have a deal that's been in probate for four months now. That's very, very possible. Probate can be a pain in the neck, especially if you're giving it too much attention. You have to let the title company, you have to do what they do. You have to submit the contract, submit the information to the title company, and do the, let the title agencies do their thing. Don't get too much engaged in that. But again, if you don't have a pipeline of leads coming in on a daily basis, I understand why you may be desperate to make this a deal by force, right? All right, so, um, so for four months, that's not unheard of. In fact, we just closed a deal not too long ago. Uh, it's like, it's like a, it's a 13 package deal, 13 houses in one package. It took a while, you know, it took, uh, it took about, um, it took about seven months or so, you know, before there was a lot of back and forth. I mean, I get emails, notifications, letting me know how things are going once in a while. If I don't hear from them, I send a quick email and say, any updates, you know, but basically I was too busy building my pipeline, doing other deals. And I have very little time to worry about the deal over and over again. So again, it's all about the pipeline. I've had a buyer the whole period who put a $2,500 EMD, EMD stands for earnest money deposit, uh, put a $2,500 down and the deal is about to close. All right, so just keep in mind, this question says the deal is about to close. They put a $2,500 down and the deal is about to close. The buyer ghosted me for the last two weeks, okay? Finally, I got in touch with him and he says he doesn't think it's going to go forward because of COVID-19, COVID-19, the pandemic. So should I return the EMD or not? All right, so it's a tricky question. It's a lot of holier than thou people that will probably say, yeah, you should return it. Reputations matter, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of people that will say that. But the truth is that it's not just it's not really a simple uh, answer like that, okay? And this was the question that inspired the three tips, okay, that, uh, that, that I'm giving you right now. Uh, first of all, like I said earlier, let the title company and the, and the attorneys, the title agency, the closing agent, let them worry about the legalities of the deal, okay? Uh, after, your job is to get the contract signed, of course, you know? But once you have a contract and you submit it to them, as far as uh, probation, sorry, probate and all this kind of stuff, let them worry about title work and you should go back to your pipeline. But the second tip I want to share with you is funding. Let's talk about funding real quickly. If someone is using hard money lending, that some kind of financing to finance a the deal, then you absolutely must request for a lot more than the proof of funds at some point in the transaction okay yeah to get them to see the property they have to show you approval funds some kind of pre-approval or something like that that shows that there there's exactly this funds right but this for this real estate deals you you need at least three thousand dollars emd three thousand dollars a minimum twenty five hundred dollars non-refundable deposit before you can even entertain um locking the property under contract okay and if the money is not coming to your hands, it will be written to escrow account so you can use it together with the contract to open escrow. You need proof of funds to show the property. You need the actual earnest money deposit in check, a check that's cleared to lock the property under contract. Okay. Now, with that being said, as the deal is going on, as the title work is being done, at least somewhere like around five two days to a week before the deal closes, you want to make sure that you get some kind of commitment in writing from the financing company. So it could be a hard money lender or any kind of company that's finding you need to have some kind of uh, some kind of uh, a commitment from them. 
that will give you a clear to close that will say okay we're clear to close we're ready we're committed to giving this person this amount of money however if this person is using purely cash then they have to um, then the only choice you have is to use the EMD as good faith that they will close okay now the EMD keep in mind the reason why you're going with just the EMD is because it's non-refundable okay this is business your number one resource is time and if somebody's gonna waste your time and potentially pull out of a deal then the only option you have is to hold on to their money if they default and breach the contract and can't close okay if they can't close that's the idea that's why we call it non-refundable they're not gonna get their money back okay now in some states they will require that you know they know that it's not refundable in the first place but if they're gonna pull out of the deal then they should know that they're probably not gonna get that money back and you may say but it's pandemic and all the stuff that's going on there's a bigger issue in the world that's completely up to you that's based on your personal moral compass if you feel a lot more comfortable if you feel like you're gonna lose sleep by not giving that money back then do what you have to do for me personally this is business okay and there are other ways that I compensate for this there are other ways that I'm very very nice that I give back into the game and one of them is not by having somebody waste my time when they are when they when they are literally when they've committed to doing a deal and they're about to pull out of it so if they can't hold on to their own end of the bargain why should I why should I help them or why should I lose money because of that that's completely up to them they know exactly what they signed up for in the past uh, in the past uh, 14 days or so they know exactly what kind of contract they signed up for and if they're not say but it's not fair you should give me that money back it's pandemic again it's completely up to you if you feel I'll tell you what there may be a situation where I say you know what it's not worth my time it's not worth my energy just give them the money back I may have uh, for the most part I'm probably gonna do that okay but I'm just telling you right now you're not obligated to do that it's completely up to your own personal moral compass okay so the tip number two that's how funding goes you have to make sure that you're treating this like a business and not like some kind of charity all right and i already talked about the emd is tip number three it's non-refundable keep it that way and abide by that okay now if you choose to give the money back know that you're not obligated to do that that's just completely up to you all right so that's what i have right there some a lot of time in this game is gonna you're just gonna so come back to you know what it's not worth my time it's like somebody trying to it's like somebody pulled out of a deal and you're trying to sue right is it worth your time going to court back and forth and trying to litigations is it worth your time it's not you're in this game to close deals and personally i like focusing on closing deals all right that's what i have for you on this particular episode if you haven't make sure you go to smartrealestatewholesaling.com and download this book for free and if you go there right now i'll give you my second book real estate money secrets in addition as a bonus as well hopefully you've been enlightened and educated if you want the full-blown article on the three tips there's a link in below that goes to the blog and you can go read it you can download you can print it out you can keep it for your records i'll see you on the next one peace